Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my brand new game and a brand new Let's Play, Satisfactory Modded. Yes, this is a game that's been consuming way too much time of my time, so I thought that I would actually uh, do a Let's Play. I'm going to do this in a semi-tutorial fashion, so don't expect a huge, massive building, so you never know. I am playing it with mods. So I will go through the mods quick I'm playing. It's only six. More factory, which is basically just adds more options for walls and stuff like that. So it's just a pretty mod. <coughs> farming mod, which adds farming to it, which is, if you're not playing with one of my other mods, can be very, very important since the only way to heal is, very, very, is via eating food. Or in some cases, you can use food and stuff to make... Um, sprays that cure you all the way up. Um, refined power, which adds wind and uh, water power to the game, which makes things a little bit easier in some ways. Um, programmable elevators, which basically adds elevators. Light it up. It gets really dark at night, so I will try to be good about putting lights in my work area so you guys can actually see what's going on. And then passive mod. Um, normally there's a lot of creatures you have to fight that are, can be very, very deadly and usually come in groups in some of the more important areas. Passive mod turns that off and lets you basically um, make the resources you get from them. It's sort of like the passive mods for Minecraft. Uh, the reason I'm playing with that is because otherwise I spend a lot of time dying. And there's never enough food to heal, which is why I have the farming mod. So you really don't need both mods. But for those who don't want to play passive, I figured I'd have the food mod in here. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start a new game. And we will call this... Spidey's Let Play. There is not a random world. So, in fact, I think that it's only one world map. It's just you can start in very dramatically different areas, maybe? I'm not sure. We're going to start in the experimental area, which is basically a desert. Um, it's easier to get from A to B in deserts. It's a, there's a lot of terrain where you have to climb mountains and build bridges over vast canyons and stuff like that. And if I do a more serious, less tutorial play, I will probably do that. Now, normally, I would skip the intro. But since I'm wanting to do this as a semi-tutorial, let us go ahead and uh, do the intro. And off we go. It'll take it a minute here to load and... I know I haven't done anything for a while, and there were a bunch of RPG stuff that I was waiting for that all got delayed because of, well, the virus and that. So, and I have no social life now because of Attention the virus. Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planetfall procedure initialized. It's a little shaky. 
but we survived, so. our desert world. <coughs> Sorry for the cough there. And the door should open. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Your build tool. And we're here. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Note, objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. She's going to talk a bunch First during this. First objective, please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost-effective and efficient. We do not waste. So we are going to go ahead and hit F, which is our destruct mode, and we are going to dismantle our pot. Ooh, look. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. And normally you would meet in some right away. But we're in passive mode. So let's go ahead and equip our zapper, even though there's nothing to zap. And you Third basically objective. right click. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. If you look down on the right, you'll see your various little shortcuts. So F is your destroy, V is your scan, and tab is your inventory. So if you hold down V, it lets you choose what you can scan. The only thing we know how to scan for right now is iron. So there's iron that way, that way, that way. Let's see. There's an oasis that way, maybe. Which one's closer? That one's 186. That one's 150. That one's a, they're all pretty close. Let's go for this one. Oh, berries. These are the natural food source you can find on the the, uh, there are three types of edibles. This is so one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, here's an iron ore. It's an impure, we're going to go to another one. It's a pure. Well, we won't be able to take fully advantage of this yet, but that's really nice. So, so if we click here, we can click resources. Sometimes there's a Fourth thing on objective. it. Build the hub. Note. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. 
Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Let's see if we had, can find one that's that pure is nice, but I'd rather have two normals. And we also need to be near. Is that an oasis? I think that's an oasis. Do, 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 do. Lots of stuff here I don't recognize. Oh, more berries. Even though I don't need to eat much because I'm not going to get wounded much, we want to grab berries whenever you can. Huge forest over there. This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, here's an oasis where we can get biomatter and hopefully water, both of which are important. Though it'll be quite a while before water becomes important copper let's go ahead and grab some copper here normally you'll find these on top these these little perfusions are always pure this is a normal copper that's good ooh a slug I don't know that we can get to it we also want to find limestone. Well, let's look for iron again. I think there's iron near here. That way. And we know there's copper near here. out in this open area but near that copper so that must be the initial iron we found that may be where we build we can always move if we find better stuff was that iron? Yes, it is. And this is near copper, so we're going to build our initial base here. So, on that, is that also iron? So that's a normal. That's a normal. That's what we want. So let's find a flat place to put down our hub, which I think is right there. So the way you put down the hub is you go ahead and hit Q, select hub, question. I think for now we'll put it down that way. Okay. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective. Complete hub upgrade one. Note. The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay. So this is our objective and this is our sort of crafting bench. There are two or three different types of crafting benches that you have to build. 
but that's the most important one. So hub upgrade one, what do we need for that? We need 10 iron rods, which will give us the portable miner and the equipment shop, and three more inventory slots. So this is our crafter. You can either hold down space key or press on the button. What I'll do sometimes is use a weight to hold the space bar down if I'm doing a lot of this, because it takes a little time. Most of the crafting like this, we, we're going to try to automate as much as possible, so hopefully I won't have to do a lot of this manual crafting. But uh, this gives us a good start. And after this initial episode, I will probably cut out most of the manual um, building of stuff. Okay, that gives us 55 iron, so we want 10 of these. Select the mission, and we put in 10 of these. And we upgrade. And we got a little bit more building. Congratulations, you have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Okay. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Well, for those important. And we now have dun 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 storage. Yay. Okay, so what we need next is 20 of those and 10 of those. So let's select the mission, which will give us a reminder up here of what we need to get currently. So do we have what we need? What do we need to build? our workshop. Five of those and five of those. Let's build the workshop. We got five of those. Okay. Workshop. Now we have our workshop. Hopefully it's not too dark in here for you guys. So for this we need three plates and three iron. So we need three of these and three of these. That gives us our first portable miner. We'll build one of those. Doop. Doop. That in our hand. You notice those quick tab stuff? It's fairly intelligent about what you're going to need in your inventory, depending on what you're doing, and it puts it up there. So stuff that goes in your hands in that case. And there's our portable miner. It will just sort of sit there and run all by itself. And we can come by every once in a while and empty it. Okay. So the next thing we need to do, we need 20 and 10. Our 10. Don't know that we have enough to make 20. We have enough to make 9. So if we run over here, 
two. And we can always mine some more up manually, but let's just grab what's here. Do, 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 do. Think. And we will start this again. Now you can skip all this tutorial stuff in the game. And normally when I play myself, I do, because this is a lot of boring sitting around crafting stuff. But uh, for you guys, I figured I'd show you the basics. You can see it. Most of the Let's Plays I have have been pretty light on tutorial stuff. It's more about the building. And we are going to do lots of the building. But uh, that's not what we're all about. Okay, we have 10 of those. So if we go over here now. And right now these are automatic. Later on they'll we'll have to do more. And we got our room. Congratulations. Rooms. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Okay, so what do we Seventh need to objective, build partners? Complete hub upgrade 3. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. So we need three of Advice, those. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. So let's build three of those and three of those. Build another miner. And what do we need now for hub upgrade three? We need copper wire, which is why I built another hub. Because if you remember right, there was copper right over here someplace. I think it was behind that rock. But we can now, if we hold down V, we can tell it to look for copper. Yep, right over that direction, only about 200 meters. It stays up there for a while. Also, once you've set it, you can just hit V. And it will just scan for the last thing you scan. So that's useful when you're just running around trying to find stuff. Okay, so here is that pure copper mode we found. I think it's pure. Nope, it's a normal. That's all right. So we're going to go ahead and put... Well, we can build a smelter. We can't power it, but we can build a smelter. Well, that's weird. We'll probably build one. Now let's go ahead and just get a little here manually. That should be enough. And on your overhead display, it always shows you where your hub is. Later on, you can get beacon jad to it, and much later on. get uh, maps. But that's a really long... Oh, we have one. Okay, apparently we do have one. Well, that's good to know. We would have to gather biomass for it, which we can do in a minute here. So let's go ahead and Craft the copper ingots. It's interesting. We don't, I guess we can just throw leaves in it. Okay, there we have our copper. 
and we might as well just turn that into wire because at this point the only thing we can make out of copper is wire. So I'm just going to go ahead and change all that copper into wire. Okay. So let's go ahead and make some iron plates. We made too many. Probably have to grow more iron. So what do we need to build a smelter? We have what we need. So let's go ahead and build a smelter. We'll build it uh, right there. Do we, can we build cable yet? <laughs> Yes, so we need some cable. That should be enough cable. So we're going to basically connect this to this. And then we're going to grab our iron ore from here. throw it in the smelter. Tell the smelter we want to create iron. Throw in the iron. Now we need fuel. So what we need for fuel is biomass. Which right now we can't process biomass. So what we're going to use for biomass is basically grass. So if you go and Click the E key on these bushes. Pigment you can, can pick be up grass from these occasionally flower petals wood. and turned into dye. A new research tree can now be accessed in the map. You also get flowers, which you can turn into dye. It'll be a while before we get the man, so. Okay, that gives us enough leaves to start. They won't last very long. So we got a little bit of wood. So what we'll do now is we go in here, we throw in the leaves will go burn fruit pretty quickly and we'll sh flow, throw in the wood and we can also throw in the flowers. And this should start this cooking up our iron. Now we're only using four out of the twenty. Now if you have enough additional sources, it won't actually use fuel until it needs it from there, which later on with the way I'm going to design power, that will these will become more of a backup for when I have peaks because the power consumption is not always even. Okay, let's see if we have enough here to make what we need. And then we will probably call it an episode. So we need 20 of that and 20 of those. So no, we don't have enough. So there's our copper. There's our plates. And we need eight more of you. Now that I 
I believe gives us our second generator, or is it not? Nope, still only have one generator. You have unlocked scanner feature, limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. So Eighth next. objective, complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Okay, so next episode, we will continue on through the tutorial, and I'd be very surprised if we're not uh, through the entire level zero by the end of the next episode. So as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine, but please leave a comment saying why you dislike the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958, and have fun gaming.